my name is Ryan Kisan. I help people learn English with Ryan Kisan English. So uh, you can already tell that creativity is obviously one of my strengths. So um, we'll be doing, we'll be looking at two things. We'll be looking at the end at my method, but that's relatively short and simple. So that shouldn't take long. But first, I would just like to tell you my, my story or even my history. So I'm from Ireland, but I've been living and working in Malaga for the last um, seven years. Uh, when I first came, I started working in a traditional language school, and of course, where we used the traditional approach to learning English. We studied the grammar and we tried to learn the vocabulary with the idea that then we would know the language. Of course, this sounds very logical, but I'm sure most of us, if we've learned a second language, would agree that in the real world, this is actually quite a waste of time. So after, I would say, maybe about two or three years, I even remember having one conversation with, uh, with another teacher thinking, in the future, we won't be learning language like this. And we'll actually laugh or cry or vote at what we used to do in um, 2000 and in the 21st century with the internet and all the information um, we have. I remember one day I was um, listening to an interview of my personal favorite um, entrepreneur, our very own Nathan Manzanecki. No, <laughs> um, this guy actually probably, I think he might have a little bit more money than Nathan. In fact, um, just as uh, recently, he actually became the most, the richest person um, on the planet. But a couple of years ago, he was I think he was only the 22nd, so um, the poor fellow. But he very simply explained his method for solving problems. And I'd like to actually show you what he said. I have a little slide here. So he said, don't just follow the trend. He said, it's good to think in terms of the physics approach of first principles. It sounds complicated, but it's actually relatively simple. He says, which is rather than reasoning by analogy, you boil things down to the most fundamental truths you can and you reason up from there. So he's saying, don't just do what everyone else is doing. He said, oftentimes we reason or we think by analogy or laterally that we find things that are similar and we do the same thing with slight variations. For example, when it comes to language, we would look at other subjects and say, oh, well, this is how we learn history or science. Therefore, this is how we will teach um, language. But if we're following our friend Elon Musk's approach, he would say, boil things down, see what we know to be fundamentally true, and then we can start reasoning up um, from there. So the question was, what um, things do we know to be fundamentally true about learning a language? Well, one thing would be that we know children pick up language very easily. And how do they do this? Well, you don't teach a child how to speak. Rather, you just speak to the child and the child, of course, um, learns. Okay, children are a little bit different. I suppose that's true. What about people who move to another country and get, and get immersed in the country with the people and the culture and all of that. Oftentimes, these people, over time, that they do actually end up picking up the language. Do they speak perfectly? Of course not. Do they make mistakes? Of course they do, and, and especially at the beginning. But over time, they certainly, they certainly do. Um, so then, what principles can we extract um, from these fundamental truths. Well, I've just picked out a few. So the first principle would be that the key is, of course, practice. What should we practice? Well, of course, specifically, that would be listening and speaking, even from the get-go. What other things could we extract from what we um, just said? Well, a few would be that uh, one simple principle would be consistency over um, intensity. I, did, I think this one is fairly self-explanatory. Like any skill, consistency is often um, 
the best thing you can do. Um, the second one there was focus on communication rather than perfection. Of course, nobody speaks perfectly. Um, so the idea should be just to try to communicate your ideas and especially at the beginning, make the mistakes, but just to um, try to get your ideas across. Another one then would be to trust the process. To know the more you do it, the better you get. We know this um, in life, no matter what you do, if you continue, if you do it a lot, you will no doubt improve. And of course, if you can do it in a relaxed way, and so why not even try to do it in a relaxed way and even then try to enjoy yourself while you're at it. Okay, the next, what is the method then that we follow? Well, let's have a look at just one or two pictures that might help us to see. So we meet in small groups, in cafes in the morning, where we have a nice coffee and we meet. Or sometimes in the evening, we might um, meet and meet for a beer. Or sometimes you might even meet and have um, uh, two beers. And, what, and the idea is, we just, as I said, we, uh, we just meet and we speak in a relaxed and fun environment. Of course, I also recommend that uh, my students do as, lot, as much listening as possible in their own free time. Okay, what about the price? Well, as you can see here, we have classes in uh, the center of Malaga. The groups are of three students maximum, plus myself. And two hours a week is 55 euros a month. Of course, we also offer other classes. We have private classes, both online and in person. And I also offer um, business classes um, to companies. Okay, so of course, I, al I always offer the first class for free. So even if anybody here would like to join one day, I'd be more than happy as well to um, pay for the first coffee as well. So that's everything. So thank you very much for listening.